welcome back to my channel or if you are new here for the first time then hello welcome in today's video i am sharing with you four different ways to style your coffee table if you guys enjoy today's video i would love to make this a series here on my channel where i show you more areas around our home with multiple different styling inspirations so that you can get some ideas for your home now before we get into the video i wanted to answer what is probably going to be the most asked question and that is where did i get my coffee table my husband actually diy'd it for me and i have a story highlight saved over on my instagram of how we made this coffee table i absolutely love it and i love it even more because my husband made it for me so if you are interested in seeing how he did that definitely head over to my instagram and if you're not already please make sure to follow me over there and subscribe to my channel down below and without further ado let's go ahead and get into this video Starting off with this first look, I'm taking this pot that I found from Home Goods. It was a total score. I believe it was under $30 and this thing is pretty massive. Inside the pot, I'm going to be taking these trailing grass sprays that I got from Target a few years back. They are some of my favorite greenery stems. They just give a nice soft touch, which I love. I unfortunately can't link these exact stems, but I will try to find something similar and link them for you in the description box down below. taking this black bowl that I found from Target a few months back. It's by the brand Threshold and I will link it down below if I can find the link. Then I'm taking this beaded garland that I picked up from Hobby Lobby years ago and I'm going to be layering that inside of the bowl and placing that to the right of that pot we just put down. some of my favorite coffee table books. I'm going to be placing that to the left of the pot and then I am placing this candle that I found at Marshall's right on top of those books. For the second look, I'm starting with this black handled vase from Hobby Lobby. This is still available and I absolutely love this piece. I am then pairing that with some of these peony stems that I got from Target a few years back. I will try again to link something similar for you in the description box down below. some more of my favorite coffee table books. I'm going to be placing those to the right of the vase. On top of the books, I'm going to be placing this footed wood bowl that I found at Hobby Lobby and also layering in some wooded beaded garland that I got off of Amazon. Taking this gold tray and these wick trimmers and candle snufflers, I'm going to be placing that onto the coffee table along with one of my favorite candles.
For the third look, I'm taking one of my favorite vases that I found at Marshall's about a year ago, almost exactly. I love this thing. It is massive, very heavy, and unfortunately not available anymore. But again, if I can find something similar, I'll link it down below for you. Taking two more coffee table books, I'm placing that to the right of that vase we just put down. For this look, I'm not putting any greenery into the vase. I just thought I would show you something different and a look that didn't require any greenery or floral stems. Then I'm layering this trinket dish from Anthropology right on top of those books. To finish off this look, I'm taking this beaded garland again and I'm going to be laying this onto the books and draping it onto the coffee table, which I really loved the way that this came out. For this last look, I'm taking this linen storage box that I absolutely love having on our coffee table. It holds all of our remotes and room spray. I'm placing that onto the coffee table and then I'm taking the infamous Walmart planter and some stems that I got from Hobby Lobby and placing that right on top of the linen storage box. Taking these coffee table books, I'm going to be placing these right next to that linen storage box and then I'm going to be taking some candle holders that I found at Target for $1 when they were salvaged and I'm going to be placing that on top of the books. To finish off this look, I'm taking this saucer that I got from Walmart in the planter section, and then I'm going to be placing my favorite candle right on top. And that is going to conclude today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I would love to know what your favorite coffee table styling was, number one, two, three, or four. Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for being here, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.